Founded in 1942, New Zealand's Abel Tasman National Park is a stunning stretch of coastline on the northern end of the South Island. Known for its golden beaches, granite cliffs, and sprawling estuaries. The great news for travelers like me is that it's also where you'll find the Abel Tasman Coast Track, which is designed to let people explore the park by trail, by kayak, or even water taxi. As we work our way south from our starting point at the northern end of the park, I'm blown away by the scenery. Every bend reveals another spectacular cove, as the trail winds through thick forests and then across postcard-like beaches. Although we only have eight miles to cover today, we've got a real schedule to stick to, so that we can time our arrival at a particularly large estuary at low tide in order to get across. One of the things I'm enjoying most about this trail is all the surprises it offers. We'll be walking along a gorgeous beach, and then the trail will break into the forest or take us up and around a rock bluff. Along the way, Harley routinely stops me to point out some cool or strange thing that I probably would have walked right past without noticing. Hey Eric, here's something really interesting. So I've just walked into the lee side of the hill. We start to see a bit of beach forest here. Um, it seems a really dark bark on the tree, so it looks like it's been burned, but that's just the natural fungus growing on the outside of the tree. The fungus is living on this sugary droplets you can just see on the side of the tree here. Oh, uh, yeah. See them on the end of a little thread. Right, yeah. So there's a, a bug, the, the scale insect, which burrows into the tree and it lives in the sap of the tree. Those threads are the bug's anal filament. Oh, anal filament. Anal filament. <laughs> and, right. uh, so technically those droplets are bug poo, but <laughs> because it lives on pure sugar, it's sort of evaporating as it hits the air, and it's actually sort of refining into a honeydew. And as disgusting as it sounds, you can taste it, and it's absolutely delicious if you want to have a go. You actually eat... It's, it, you can, it's totally safe to anal eat. Anal filament. And the anal filament is strangely delicious. Strangely I delicious. It. Oh, well, i got to try it. I reckon you got to give it a go. How do you actually do it? You just... Uh, you can either lick the tree, or if you just want to collect a few droplets up on your fingertips, right. you'll be able to taste that. That's the most delicious filament I've ever tasted. <laughs> <laughs> top-notch anal filament. That is top-notch. So we've reached the Awaroa Inlet, and we're lucky that we're here at low tide. The tide's always well, going out for one more hour, but we should be able to have a go at it. We're going to get our feet wet a little bit because it never goes out completely. If you get the tide time wrong, you've got to sit here for maybe three to four hours and wait for the tide to go out. All right. Again. Yeah. Well, let's give it a go. Let's give it a go. Right on. The Awaroa Crossing is one of a few mandatory crossings on the Abel Tasman Coast Track and it's a really cool opportunity to get a close look at what lies below. Even better, you get to experience what one of these estuaries feels like squishing through your toes. Having successfully crossed the estuary, the hiking portion of our trip is coming to an end. And so tonight, we're getting a hot shower and a real bed at the Awaroa Lodge, as we get ready to hop into kayaks to continue our exploration of Abel Tasman National Park. <laughs> 